Welcome! Today we're looking at the Presonus Symphonic Orchestra. It's an orchestra library featuring strings, brass, woodwinds, percussion and more. And you also get a big royalty-free music loop library. My name is Petas and let's take the tour! Right, so let's first listen to a small cue I created with the Presonus Symphonic Orchestra. Right, and yeah, we have a second cue here, which is a little bit more dramatic, film score dramatic. Right, so let's see a quick uh, demo of uh, some of the presets in uh, Presonix Symphonic Orchestra. Right, so let's uh, take a look at uh, what this library offers. When you buy the Presonix Symphonic Orchestra, you get to download three different files. It's the PSO, Classic Orchestra. Then you have the contemporary strings and finally the, musics, uh, the music loops, which is uh, around 1200. Uh, royalty-free loops, uh, MIDI loops, which you can use in in your music pieces. Right, so the individual presets in uh, the Presonus Symphonic Orchestra comes delivered as a sound set. So uh, probably the easiest way to find these presets is to go to the Files tab here and uh, open up the sound sets. And we have the PSO, which stands for Persona Symphonic Orchestra. And the Classic Orchestra with uh, the individual presets for brass, choir, percussion, strings, woodwinds, etc. And we can also look at the folder here, PSO Contemporary Strings, with the dry presets and uh, the key switches presets. And the sections here. And down here we have the music loops, which is uh, uh, which can be a great starting point if you have a problem setting up a template of your own. Then you can just uh, drag the different sections from uh, a queue like this. You can also preview some of these predefined music loops as the uh, wave files. But first, uh, let's take a look at the classic uh, orchestra here and the individual presets. You can obviously also go into the instruments tab up here and uh, find the presets uh, under the presence uh, category here because uh, it's uh, all these samples are loaded within the presence uh, presence sampler but let's go back to the files and the sound sets tab so for this little uh, cue that we listened to earlier i have uh, the big string section key switches preset and you can see at the lower range of the keyboard we have uh, a reddish area here, which means that we have uh, the ability to select different key switches from the lower keys of, of the keyboard. So this is obviously the pizzicatos. And if we press uh, C0, we will get the sustains patch. And we can also read in the information panel in the middle of uh, the present sampler here that we can use the key switches to change articulation and uh, use the mod wheel or expression to control the dynamic playback. So we can do these swells.
So let's uh, see if we have uh, what we have more in the key switches here. So C, C sharp, which is the sustains two, which is an alternative to the to the sustains one. Then we have the D0, it's a tremolo. And D sharp, we have the trills. So you can hear it's a very tight sound in these strings. And currently I don't have any reverb on this uh, track, I think. If we go into the mixer here and uh, look at this track, it's a totally dry track. So let's see what we have on the, on the E key. It uh, sustains long. So there are some really nice articulations in here. And then we have the pizzicato again. Then we have some more sustains. Which sounds a, a little bit softer than, uh, than the previous sustains. And this one has a quite short decay. Let's go to the, the G sharp here. And here we have an sh even shorter string. Then we have some staccatos. And as you can hear, we have a dynamics uh, velocity response. So if we play, play very soft, we get a quite soft sound, but you get an even softer sound if you decrease uh, the expression. Yeah, so that's a little bit about the big string section. And as I told you, there's uh, no reverb, no, no additional reverb on this one. It's a totally dry track. You can listen to this uh, viola section track, which is also a staccato. But we can also add some reverb to this one. So let's uh, send a little bit to the bus one here, where we have the, uh, it's the M uh, turbo reverb. Oh, 
Okay, so let's uh, check out the harp. Here we also have uh, single notes, major or minor and pentatonic chords. Right, so this is the end of the first part of the Presonis Symphonic Orchestra. In the next episode we will look at the brass, the woodwinds and the percussion of the Presonis Symphonic Orchestra. If you have any questions on this sample library, please uh, write that in the comment section below. Now you can continue and watch my next episode. Don't forget to subscribe, hit the like and press that notification bell so that you get a notice when I release new videos. My name is Matthias and see you in the next video. Bye!